Awesome. While everybody's waiting on me, I'm going to go get everything ready. So, yeah, y'all be coming back when I get back. And I, and I, and I, and I. <sighs> It's cold, nobody's here. I'm talking to myself because nobody's here. <sighs> I wonder how long it's going to take for everybody. Hey, Amanda and Blakeage. Blakeage giving me the usual greeting. Good to see you, Blake. Here's the return. Amanda, how's it going? Hope you slept well. I'm going to start pouring my beverage because I just scarfed down an entire lasagna. And for some reason, I'm actually still hungry. So. <clears throat> yes, you are definitely here. Faster than just about everybody else except for. Yeah, no, faster than everybody else. I'm actually shocked. Usually the first person that makes it in here is Grace, somehow. On the rare occasion, it's somebody else. On the very rare occasion. But I also wasn't planning on going to live until 7, but yeah, I can't do anything outside because it is windy as hell. Well, I hope you can walk straight if you got... But anyways, enough said on that one. I'm going to pour my beverage. <laughs> See, Blake got the same thing I did. Can't blame us. You said it, not us. My beverage is going to taste a little weird because it's going to have orange on it. Oh, actually, no. It, it was the, wasn't it the pink one that goes bzzz, The one that your boss got you? Greetings, what life? Welcome to the channel. Unless that's Wyatt. And Cindy Squirrel. How's it going? Okay, everyone's popping in just as I'm pouring. So, awesome sauce. This is going to be a, hopefully a decent live tonight. I was planning on doing a, a green screen background, but uh, having trouble trying to sort out how I want to do it because... My camera doesn't want to do the way I need it to, and when I do my green screen back here, all of from like here down forward, I can see, and I can't quite block out all of this because I don't have a long enough piece of green cloth, and it's just I have a I have a window here, and I can't really put anything on it because yeah, it's it's just really awkward. So. Yeah, you guys probably can't see it, but kind of hung a tightrope up here across, trying to hang that off of there. And as you can see, it's where is it that way? Uh, tied up here and then tied to my bed, trying to see, trying to so I could try to uh, quarantine quarantine myself in a green screen, which you can't thankfully see on the camera. Oh, actually, you can. It's right there. Yeah, it didn't quite work out the way I want. I really need a better setup for this when I do lives. I mean, the only option I have is to uh, get a smaller desk, set it up in front of my TV on that side, and put my green screen on there. But that's still going to be... I mean, this thing has a really wide lens on it. But anyways, I digress. I'm going to get my chat popped out here for youtube nope and of course i gotta search for myself because youtube does not like pushing my channel
right, so there's that. Meet myself. Thumbs up. Good evening, Cecilia. Oh, nice. Speaking of which, Amanda, you said something last week about the greenhouse, that there were some issues with that, and I don't remember if you actually gave her the response. Because last week I was kind of pretty decently weird because of certain events on here, and I was just like, I guess the word would be giddy. I was giddy because people were here. So anyways, I was going to go check because I do not know who what is. So, give me a brief moment here while I check on this. Ooh, another gardener. I think. Looks like some garlics. Nice. Ooh, interesting. Never tried doing the uh, instant seed, the Instagrow seed thingies. These things. What the hell are they called? Uh, uh, blah. These little grow pellets. I've never considered growing those just outside of a container. So that is actually interesting. Um, Interesting, interesting. Saturday night in Tybee. Ooh, don't know where Tybee Island is. Looks like maybe down in Louisiana-ish. I guess, I don't know. Let's see. I'm going to check the rest of this. Do -do 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 -do. Noise. Kind of a all-arounder on that one, so not too bad, not too bad. Hmm. Oh, I know Cindy. I know where Cindy's at. I was just, I was checking on uh, Watt Life. Was checking out his channel. Well, the um, the greenhouse that you said you were getting from your granddad, you said there was like some issue with it or something, if I recall. God, I am still hungry. I ate a whole lasagna and I'm like starving. I'm going to grab some teriyaki beef jerky. Might as well munch on some beef jerky and beer. Well, not beer, but beef jerky and alcohol. So, once again, we are back to the, sorry, teriyaki beef sticks. Was just the regular beef ones tasted funny? Oh, okay. That's not too bad. As long as you can find the poles. Who knows? And yes, I'm aware, folks, I did not do an update this week on the uh, Jiffy Trays, because uh, the only thing that survived so far is two of my mammoth sunflowers. And my cherry pepper. The uh, habanero that I had that I thought was going good. Kicked the bucket. So. Oh, okay. Oops. Trying to show the chat on the... Uh, Try to show it on thing, but I can't even do because I don't have a... I don't know what Bunnings is, but I'm assuming that's a hardware store.
See what I get for tonight. We'll see. Been a weird one. So, yeah, I do apologize. No garden update this week. Or... I don't know. It just kicked the bucket. I had like two of them going, and then all of a sudden they just died. Like one died, and the other one I noticed was uh, not doing so well the other day, and it's pretty much kicked the bucket. I don't know. So, yeah, I don't know. I try give them a little bit of water, and I see what they do. And, yeah, I, when it comes to the hot, hot peppers, I have a hard time growing it for some reason. I get them started, and they go, and then they just, kick, they just like, eat shit and die. Speaking of which, I actually got to go check on my other ones. I have them all out sitting outside, right outside the window. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Could be the fact that they're still on the heat tray or heat mat. I have not an idea. Hey, good evening, Doug. How's it going? Grace, good to see you. Getting more and more in tonight. Hopefully we can get up to 15. I would like to get up to 20, but uh, that is up to fate. Oop, I got my just noticed my uh, drinking vessel is bass backwards. I got all sorts of stuff to drink. I've got the high octane beverage. I've got space orange juice and water. I have no shortage of beverages tonight. And I got snack sticks. I got beef sticks, chips. I went and bought more um, after holiday sale candy. So now I got a fart ton of the uh, Robin's eggs. I have like a dozen bags now. <laughs> I'll be eating them for a while. <coughs> Beef stick went down wrong. Oh, that's it. Uh, anyways, saw an old friend the other day. Well, technically not saw, but caught him in the uh, chat on another live stream. Our good buddy Johnny is still alive and kicking. Doing stuff. He's uh, kicking names and taking phone numbers. Good evening, Deb. How are you? I do have a question for you, Deb. The only answers you need to give me are yes and no. <sighs> Did you get your stuff back along with what was owed you? Don't need to go into details, just a simple yes or no. And I'd be happy with that. I was really, really, really looking forward to getting some more of the uh, Texas barbecue ones. I was going to get me like five bags of those. But bags are expensive. They're like five bucks each. No, uh, five and some change. <sighs> it looks like I got punched in both eyes. Also got a package, a little bit of a package to open today, so we are good. Well, it's not like he's got to go to work. Once he gets off of work, he ain't doing anything. And Deb's only a few hours away from him. So. We see. We shall see. And we may or may not see from Jason tonight. I don't know. It all depends. We have constant missing. Every time I check my phone, I swear. Ooh, I missed a uh, saw a comment. Didn't read it. Read it, but kind of missed it. Give me a brief moment while I reply to a comment here on my one of my videos. 
I'm still paying attention. I've only got a few people in here, so it should be easy to keep up with chat. And essentially, this is going to basically be like a standard Saturday live. Sorry, folks, just finishing up. And whoop. Dunzo. Dunzo, Gonzo, Smidger, Smidruzzle, 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 Smidruzzle. All right. Hopefully, I won't need that anymore tonight. We'll see. From him or from me? Oh, geez. Well, this is why I don't do Timu. Yeah, I've got stuff i got to send out. I just got to stop being, like, absolutely lazy about it. Don't feel bad. I won a uh, fairly substantial giveaway, and it took the guy... Almost three years before he sent it out to me. Like I've given him shit about it. He and then one day he was complaining on uh, about how much room he doesn't have or like how, how cluttered his garage was or whatever. And then he needed to make more room. I said, You'd have more room if you sent me that damn package you still owe me. He goes he's off, you're right. That thing been sitting in his truck for two and a half years, just waiting to go to the post office. Bagged up box and everything. All he had to do is get it to the post office, put stamps on it and send it out. Took him forever. But I still talk to him every once in a while. He's a cool dude. He's finally coming back to uh, the YouTube side. Or hopefully he's coming back to the YouTube side. I don't think I've ever ordered anything off of Amazon that I got wrong. But, I mean, there are the rare occasions. Especially if you're shipping somewhere that does metric. Is that a standard? Or, you know, if you're in an area that measures everything by centimeters instead of inches. But then again, the U.S. US citizens will measure anything using anything except for the right measurements. You want to measure a car? It's not a car length. It's 12 cats. And yes, it can be 12 cats, depending on the size of the cat. Unless it's a Maine Coon, which in case it might be 7 or 8. Because Maine Coon cats are huge. Like little bears. Ugh, pink yarn. Well, you're never going to get that from me. I don't do pink yarn. Oh, there's my cutters. I was looking for those the other way. People came and people went. Well, since we're all here and waiting, we might as well get started about the chat in the outside. I know Amanda's starting to cool off over there. Thank <laughs> you. 
Grace, are you sure that's not what you ordered? And they're just trying to be funny and be like, yeah, I ordered this from Amazon, but they sent me in time. That's like some of them random ones where you see, like, dude tells his wife, well, I ordered soap and lotion. I don't know why they sent me an exhaust system. That's 32 Celsius, so that's like 73 degrees, something like that. Or 60. 60. Yeah, something like 60 like that. <laughs> okay, Grace. <laughs> yeah, sometimes Amazon won't even take the return back. They'll just be like, oh, we'll just send you this out. She already paid for it. And they'll just take the loss on it because they've got a huge, huge loss prevention thing that they can do. I think 32C is like 74, 75 degrees, something like that. Did I drip water on that? Inside me, weird. I did. For those of you who've been wondering, this is my current tan at the moment. <sighs> As you can see, pasty white on top, dirt brown on the bottom. I need to find my other uh, wife beater t-shirt, or AKA muscle shirt, which I don't have muscles for. Ooh, Molly! Power outage. Ooh, that sucks. How long has the power outage uh, gone for? I was wondering why Jason and Molly weren't here right away. Oh, shit, 98 degrees? Holy crap. <clears throat> Thank you, Doug, for the um, conversion. Much appreciated. Oh, snap. Have they said why there's a power outage? Did you guys get, like, heavy winds or rain down there? Somebody ran into a telephone pole? Because I know you're sort of out in the middle of nowhere. I have definitely got to suck. Well, I guess on the on the plus side, Jason got <clears throat> Jason got to go outside and uh, do garden work for the last five hours. Although I believe at this point it's dark as hell over there, so probably just called it quits an hour ago and walked inside to eat. Oh shit! That's a full grid down situation right there. The whole town is done? That sounds like somebody took out the plant or the uh, transfer station. And you guys might not get power back until tomorrow, if that's the case. I think she posted it on Facebook. Colin also showed it off a um, week before last on the live. Cecilia ma uh, messaged him and sent him a picture, and he put the showed the picture up on here. I don't have it, unfortunately. I don't have Facebook. I don't intend on getting Facebook either. I shaved and everything's all itchy. I feel like sneezing everywhere. Huh. It's the only place I know she posted as far as I know. Because that shit on thing, I don't believe she has an Instagram. Apologies for the uh, sniffling. It's sinuses. It's not. It's not even like an allergy thing. I've had 
constant, like nonstop 25, 30, 45 mile an hour winds the last two days. I had purchased a uh, $6, a $5 growing tray that I was going to test out. And the wind decided to destroy my tray. Didn't destroy the containers, the little grow tray, the grow containers. It destroyed the bottom water tray. I mean, it obliterated it. The wind blew it over and it blew my chair on top of it and just busted the whole thing. So I can't even use it anymore. But luckily, I think I still have it somewhere over here. Uh, nope. I moved it somewhere. That's the extra one. Oh, there it is. It's over on that side, I think. I still have the um, extra heavy-duty grow tray that I purchased from uh, Jiffy Mo uh, Sorry, Fairy Morse, that really heavy-duty, thick plastic one. Oof, that's, that's unfortunate. And even if you did have good internet, you ain't got no power, so any device that you have... Unless it's plugged in, it's going to die instantly. Unless Jason went and got the new phone. But yeah, so somewhere over here, I have the uh, extra grow tray. I think it's actually right. I can't remember check real quick. It's driving me nuts. I know I have it. Nope. It's not back there in that corner. Not over there. That's a cheap one. Ah, is that the heavy duty one? Okay. I got the heavy duty one still over here. I put the uh, greenhouse dome lid from the other container on top of it, so I thought it was another one. But yeah, I can just transfer those little. Uh, uh, they're they're similar to like the fairy morse, uh, the yeah the the fairy morse ones, the like two and a half three inch deep cell ones, the like hexagon style. But these ones are kind of more roundish, ovally ish. I don't know. It's kind of hard to. But the way the tray is designed is it it's a tray of eighteen. But they're in like little grids of six. So if I really wanted to, I could cut them into grids of six. If you guys want, I can show I can just run out real quick and grab one of the trays and show you what I'm talking about. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna go run out there and get sandblasted and dirty and dusty. I'm about to be tasting dust here in a minute. Sorry. I had to go check on my plants, too, because my other ones are... I have all my plants, like I said, in my other tray right outside the window on the floor down there. So these are what I was talking about. It's a $6 tray, but as you can see, it's an 18 cell, but you've got these little lines. Right, you got basically these ribs, which essentially you could just cut right down. And, well... Essentially, just have a whole bunch of, you can either do them in stacks of 12, stacks of 18, or, I mean, if you really want to, just do them in grids of six. It's kind of an odd design for the container itself, but, I mean, they're still the uh, the deep the deep ones. So, yeah, they're, they're kind of, I guess, roundish, squ roundish square? I don't know what the hell you want to call that. Kind of like rounded, yeah, we'll just say rounded square. But, yeah, I was going to get this to test this out to see how this tray worked because it was only like six or five bucks. I was like, for five bucks, I'll try it. It's kind of similar to the um, the Fairy Morse ones or the Jiffy ones. 
let you buy. Usually those are for like five or six bucks. <laughs> oh, jeez. Jason and Molly have a generator. They're probably just chilling over there. But I guess probably bad weather or some like I said, so I think somebody probably knocked over a telephone pole and shorted out the uh, one of the transmission lines. And since Molly's the only one with a working phone at the moment. Jason's doesn't work unless it's plugged in. And his tablet's the same way. His tablet's almost dead, too. So, yeah, fun times. But it's one of those days. Looks like my chat died. Unfortunate for me. It's usually fairly lively in here. And I know I went live technically late, but at the same time, technically early. Just mainly due to the fact that I couldn't do any yard work outside. I'm did like I said, it's been super windy and I've been finding my planters and pots all over the yard the last two days. So not fun. You know it's bad when it can blow a five pound chair all the way across the yard like it was a two gram plastic bag. Like stuff just everywhere. Luckily, I haven't lost any of my greenhouse panels. Usually, when it's windy, I usually have to find like I gotta search through the yard. Last time, two of them were in the neighbor's yard. That little shit said he was gonna return. He was gonna take all that stuff up there this week. Well, I swear to God, if I have to get on his ass, I will. But, anyways, that's not for me. That's between you and him. I just hope he gets it resolved. Because that's not how we do things in this community. Should be warming up for the Canadians. At least most areas of Canada. You guys should be starting to get some uh, warmer weather coming your way. At least I hope so. Now, even if you, if you did hold your breath, you would have been blue in the face and probably would have died. All right. Situated? I think I'm situated. I don't need this, so that can go there. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention, I also have lemon shortbread cookies. Oh, holy snap. These things are way smaller than I thought they were. The heck? This is so weird. Some of these are smaller than others. I just took out the, uh, the eco pack of uh, these... Super grow coconut pellets, coconut head compressed pellets, and that's how big they are. They're like half an inch by half an inch, just like a little cube or a little um, cylinder. I wonder how big these things get. <clears throat> yeah, coconut core, bl uh, core blend, core. Yeah, coconut core. I thought they were just going to be individually, like, just loose in here. I didn't think there was going to be a, uh, like, in seed packs. That's kind of weird. Still haven't tested these out yet. Be kind of interesting to see how they work. Yeah, at least you're on the. At least you're having a good hunt on the mice. 
Sorry. Don't know if you even heard it. At least you're getting at least you're getting them. Okay, see you in a minute, Amanda. Five and twelve hours and one and earlier. Nice. Well, like I said, at least you're getting them. So I can't ever tell if my I think my I think I'm actually getting too high on this side. I might have to just shave it off and start over. Take me another two years to grow it all back again, but Yeah, I think this side's actually higher than the other side now. That's why my hairline looks that's why it always looks funny when I'm on here. Yeah, whatever. I got six people in here. I'm still happy. Can't breathe for squat, but sinuses are being all weird. And it's not allergies, trust me. It's I don't have allergies. It's just there is so much dust and dirt in the air right now. Go outside and you feel it sticking to you. Posted a picture of the two uh, one time last night. Noise. Guess I can slow down on that beverage. I've got a ways to go. I'm only like 30 minutes into this anyways. Getting close to the halfway mark on that cup. And I am still freaking hungry. Which tells me something else is awake. And I don't want it to be awake. It needs to go back to sleep. I knew I had one of these open yesterday. I was looking for it. <laughs> Robin's eggs. And there's Colin. Colin, you got her phone number. You could have called. <clears throat> Evening, Jenny. Ian, if you're there, hello. Well, either way, I'm saying hello. Oh, so Jason went to go get gas. Shame, 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 Jason. But how does one to forget to get gas? Usually eat Taco Bell or some beans and you get gas automatically. I've already been drinking. I just set mine down before your ass walked in. Just finished my lasagna too right before the live. Facebook was causing issues. Sounds about right for Facebook. <sighs> nope. A1 is steak sauce. So A1 is not A1. A1 is steak sauce. <sighs> Apparently some people have come to the conclusion or have Come to a consensus that is sacrilegious if you put that on a steak. I tend to disagree. 
but at the same time, <clears throat> not all steak has flavor when you cook it. <laughs> oh yeah, but just uh, just as a forewarning, folks, the uh, the half of the the other half, back half of this month. From like the 15th till basically next month. I am probably going to be dead on every live that I'm on. Because we are getting wicked. We have like 14 concerts back to back at work. Or well at the building I work in. So the concert venue side. It's like 14 back to back concerts. So it's going to be fun. <sighs> nice. That's a that's my excuse to drive my truck was um a YouTube gathering meetup in Iowa. So got to drive a brand new truck all the way the hell out there. That's fun. So I I, I know exactly how he feels. It's always good to get the um Vehicle broke in. I won't even be able to get to see the eclipse because my ass is going to be stuck inside of a building all day. And on top of that, it's the stupid finals for dumb basketball. So I have to deal with all those morons watching that junk. Sorry, for those of you who like basketball, I'm sorry. That is a... That is a basically a panty waste sport. It's a sport for crybabies. You want a real sport? Hockey. I'd rather get I I would personally rather get hit by a 350 pound linebacker than I would get hit by a 204 a 230 pound guy going 25 miles an hour on ice skates. Because in hockey, you can punch the other opponent. In football, you can't do that. You, you, you try doing that, you get a 15-yard penalty and or ejected from the game. So, yeah, still think hockey's a way better sport, but that's just on me. Short rant there. Wasn't even planning on going that way, but, yeah. figured I'd, it was part of the dialogue of me forewarning you folks that next half of the Back half of this month, I'm going to be probably dead. Which team for what? Basketball? I really don't care. And there is Scott again. Sorry, Doug. My bad. That was that was unintentional, Doug. Apologies. Oh, any hockey team? I do, me personally, I'm a I'm a uh, Avalanche fan because I grew up in Denver. But I will watch hockey. I don't really care who te what, whose team. I was watching hockey all day long today on the TV. And then they changed it over to lame-ass football. I mean, uh, ho uh, basketball. So, yeah, I know. I hate ba I have absolutely hate basketball. Yes and yes. The problem is, even when I change my times, it still stays late for everybody else. So if I go to, if I start my live at seven or eight, that's nine, ten o'clock for most of everybody else. That 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 was Florida, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, or is that your hockey team? But yeah, as I said, if I go to if I do my live, if I did my lives at eight o'clock, that's nine o'clock and ten o'clock everybody else's time. Unless you're west of me, which is like three people that actually still watch. But 
that's too late for everybody else because you guys aren't going to stay up till midnight, one o'clock, watching my I'm watching a live. <sighs> but today I went. Uh, the only reason why I went earlier today was because the wind is pretty much making it impossible for me to do anything outside. So that sort of sucks. So I decided to come in here and eat and go live at about 6.45 ish, my time, central time, sorry, mountain time. Because like I said, I couldn't do anything else outside. So my hours when it comes to doing the lives is going to vary greatly this season. I got to sneeze and I don't want to. Oh, got that one funny tickle in the back of my nose, and it was just like, eh, nope. But yeah, so my, my hours are going to vary. If I go live, I go live. If I don't go live, that's because I had a nice day, and I was outside working. Yeah, that's what I thought, because oh, Tampa Bay's but the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. That's why I was, like, asking him if that was a hockey team or something, because... I know Tampa, I know Buccaneers is when he said Buccaneers, I was like, that doesn't make any sense because that's Florida's hockey team. I mean, uh, football team. <laughs> Welcome back, Amanda. But uh, yeah, I didn't know actually, I didn't know Iowa had a hockey team. Then again, we have, um, well, a lot of states do have hockey teams, but they're like minor league, not quite uh, majors. So, it's kind of like baseball. You got your AA, your AA, your college, and blah, blah, blah. Then you got your pro, uh, uh, you got your minors and then your pros. Yeah, see, minor league, that's what you yeah. It's, uh, yeah, my, like, again, my hours are going to vary because of, uh, basically due to weather. So, yeah, Tampa Bay uh, Lightnings. They, that's, that's who was playing today when I was uh, around uh, 2 o'clock. Yeah, it was, uh, it was Tampa Bay and, I think, who the hell were they playing? I think they were playing the Oilers. Or Boston. Because you guys have two hockey teams down there, don't you? You got the uh, Lightning and the uh, the Florida Gators. Which, I know it sounds bad, but yes, the hockey team's Florida Gators. Dang. That's unfortunate. The Gators are the football team? So you guys got two football teams? Oh, that's because you got... Uh, Basically, professional and minor league. That makes sense. I don't really pay attention much to football. I know a little bit about it, and I know most of the teams, but on the up and up, down and down, and the high and low, and the sideways, and the diagonal, football's not really my thing either. I don't do basketball. I don't do football. I can't stand golf. That shit is boring.
So I'm supposed to be doing a giveaway? That's news to me. I wasn't aware that I was supposed to be doing a giveaway tomorrow. Or was that something that I had mentioned and I forgot about? Because if that's something that I mentioned I was going to do and I forgot about it, yeah, I'm sorry. I completely forgot about it. Um, so I, I, I don't really know what to do for it. I mean, I can give seeds away, but I'd have to go buy some. I know I've done it before. On his channel, I bought a couple dollars worth of seeds. I was in the cups. I'm confused. Well, I know he does a seed giveaway all the time, but I don't remember if I had said I was going to donate as well. I mean, it won't kill me to go and buy some more. I've got... No, I said for the tray and the seeds was if I got to 600 before the start of summer or spring. Well, that was going to be on my channel. I was going to do a, a seed tray and some seeds, which I still have sitting over here in a bag. I was also going to do a pack of these as well. And then some uh, other accessories that I have just a whole bunch of in my truck. I bought them because they were like six bucks each and they seem like they work. So I was going to. Oh, yeah, my, my, no, my seed tray said, uh, said I'm looking forward to being on there, but I, I honestly don't remember saying that. I, I mean, I can do one, but. Like I said, we still got, they still got seeds out, so. But yeah, I've, I I never made it to 600. I haven't even I've gained like one sub in the last month. So looks like all these seed trays, the seed trays and those seeds are just going to be sitting on my floor until I get to 600. If it happens to be in the winter time, I guess that's when they're going to get that shit. Plus, I got to find a box to ship those in. That's a really odd law. It's like an odd shaped box. And the funny thing is, I don't have any boxes like that at work. I don't have a Grace, wait, was that is that like at this moment, exact moment in time, or before you popped on earlier? Well, that's kind of odd that they would do a, a knee replacement surgery on a Saturday. Oh man, my sinuses are killing me right now. I mean, I don't know. I've, I've at this point, I've I've got so much stuff on my plate, Cecilia, that if I said that, and I I apologize, I've probably forgotten about it. Between the suddenly having to cut the tree down, which I was hoping we were going to do next year or at the end of the season. Oh, surgery was on Thursday. I sent you. Okay. I'm assuming by cups, you're talking about this damn thing? I forget a lot of things because I talk about a lot of things all at once, and I've always got 100 different things on my mind. I'm like, I'm almost, I'm as bad as Joe. There's a reason why Joe has a book that he writes things down in. All right, later, Deb. Be well. I was like, Your grace, as long as the surgery went well, the recovery should go as well. Wow.
that was that sentence sound grammatically incorrect. No, the, but like I said, there's a reason why Joe always has a book or binder next to him that he writes things down in. Me, for the most part, I just try to normally remember. But again, at, at the moment, I have so much on my plate that I can't remember half the stuff that I still have to get done. I'm pretty sure I've promised people other things. And I've, yeah, just in one year and out the other. I have I, I have way too much stuff. I've got massive construct massive rebuild project in the yard that needs to happen and that's gonna take like three months. But then they give you any painkillers for it, Grace? Any like cortisol or I know Amanda and I just I haven't had a chance to go to that side of the uh city because even even that place where I have to go for said item is like an additional 20 minutes north of where I work. I have technically a little binder, but that that's for other things. Evening drops. Good to see you. Um, set that over there. No, I've got, I just, I just, I, at the moment I have way too much on my plate. Percocet. Yeah, that'll cause problems. Yeah, I know there's no rush. Can't rush perfection. Then I'm definitely not perfection, but don't rush me because you'll get a bag of turds. Might be cat turds, might be rat turds, might be a horse turd, might be a fish turd. But you'll get a bag of turds. But yeah, no, I'm a, a lot of it is a what's weighing not really weighing on my mind, but it is kind of bothersome that I spent all the effort planting seeds and only six of them germinated and most of it already died. So I'm a little bummed that I lost a lot of seed stock germinating seeds that looked like they were doing well and then just suddenly kicked the bucket. So I got a little bit of that. This kind of weighing on me just, just a little bit, not too bad. I mean, I still have a seed stock for it, but I'm almost out of certain seeds and I need those particular seeds for challenges. And I've already failed on the first batch. I am actually surprised at the moment that I still have currently five Peter Peppers still alive. And I tried growing those last year. I got a whole tray to germinate, and within three days of them germinating, they all took a shit and just <laughs> died. Don't know what happened. They just keeled over and poof, done. That's why either Latin, or sorry, Latin last year, the year before when we did the Peter Pepper Challenge, that I entered and then dropped out because my seeds all died. My, my seedlings died. This year I'm doing a little better. And I'm waiting for them to get bigger so I can plant them out in the garden. And the funny part is, I have no idea where to plant them. Because I have planting containers everywhere. But most of them are already spoken for, are for like specific things. Although... Suppose I could set them with the basil, if that ever pops up. I have one, technically, but I don't have it set up and prepped, and I can't get it set up and prepped until we rebuild the patio section where... Yeah, basically, until we rebuild a section of the yard, I can't put anything over there because that's where half the garden is. And that's basically used as like a divider from like the front section where we park the vehicles to like the back section where it's just kind of all plant life, nice patioed off areas, stuff like that. So I can't fill that bed until that area has been fixed and worked over. 
But right now I have everything up front over here by my greenhouse. I have three of my raised planters, which normally go in the back. I have my big wooden ones. I have six over here where I in front of the windows. <coughs> I mean, I've got tons of planters. And I'm still planting stuff. I mean, I'm still putting stuff in the ground. I have a decent amount of soil at the moment that I can work with. I've been taking out my now what's that thing my compost bin behind the uh, jeep that we have over here i'm slowly working on getting that situated and taken care of that stuff's been sitting in there for three years and that bark that i've had in there has not budged an inch still the same size when i shoved it all in there Uh, sorry, drops. What pepper are you talking about? The habaneros? Yeah, they're one of those weird 70, like 72 to like 85 degree germinator, germinating ones where they got a really stupid hot dirt to germinate. I got four of them to germinate. They were doing good and then they just died. I don't know what happened. So struggling with those ones. The funny thing is, I've got the one cherry pepper in the same conditions, hasn't done much, and that one's just kind of slowly getting bigger, little by little. It's a good thing. I'm glad some of the other seeds I have a whole bunch. Best of a whole. Oop, that's not it. My seed pack is shit. Somewhere over here, I got a bunch of seeds that I got from a YouTube friend. YouTube acquaintance. She sent me a whole bunch of seeds from the stuff they were growing. Oh, not anymore, you don't. In the summertime, yeah, during my winter season and your summer season, oh yeah, you'd be able to jerk uh, you'd be easily be able to grow like those that uh, over there. I'm pretty sure Mark's even grown some of those over there on his side, but only far and few between because he doesn't really do he doesn't do a lot of the hot spicy stuff. So he doesn't do a lot of the hot peppers. I believe I believe one year he did grow jalapenos. If I'm not mistaken, I might be. But again, he's not really much. I don't think he's I, if I remember correctly, he said he doesn't do a lot of spice, like heat spice. But, uh, yeah, I've got, um, yeah, I've just been struggling. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, well, you're in a more arid, uh, more humid area. So, yeah, there, you got slugs everywhere. I don't have to worry about that down here. The only thing i got to worry about are the hornworms. And when they're little... Them suckers grow big real fast, and they eat a lot. You ever get hornworms on your lettuce? You're better off just pulling the lettuce out of the ground. Because if you don't, I can guarantee you by the next morning, half your lettuce will have been eaten by hornworms. Them suckers eat a lot, and they eat fast. <sighs> If you don't need it, don't get it. So will salt. Spray salt water and everything. Salt water won't affect your plants too much, but it'll definitely cause some severe issues with the slugs. Now, see, the problem is with DE is I'm in an area that has beneficial bugs, ladybugs, grasshoppers. Well, Grasshoppers aren't necessarily beneficial. I usually squish them when I see them. But I have ladybugs, praying mantises, numerous varieties of bees, the a-holes with wings, which I usually try to avoid, but sometimes you just kind of have to interact with them. As long as you don't whack one of them or suddenly do something funny, it won't stick you. 
I got butterflies. Again, I need everything I can possibly down here for pollinators. I need all the pollinators I can get. And unfortunately, if you put DE on the fields, it kills all your pollinators. Lettuce doesn't self-pollinate per se because you don't need the you don't need the flower head to make a lettuce. So I wouldn't quite consider. All right, take care, Cindy. Have a good one. And we will definitely see you. Uh, I will see you tomorrow. I know. Yeah, tomatoes and peppers are self-pollinators, are self-propagating. Yeah, with tomatoes, you just kind of have to shake them. Peppers are just sort of, peppers are kind of like apple trees. They just kind of pop out a flower, and the next thing you know, you got a pepper. It's kind of like a giant DNA, a DNA strand stem. DNA goes out that way, does this, and then you have five peppers. So I guess a pepper plant is like a, like a family. But yeah, definitely lettuce is not really one you need pollinating for it. It'll get those little flowers, and then, yeah, you have lettuce everywhere. I have been finding lettuce in the most random locations in my yard. And I've not had lettuce over there in those areas in two years. Same with carrots. Oh, man, if you ever, carrots, carrots, lettuce, and onions, if you never want to plant any one of those ever again in an area, let them go to seed, let the seeds fall off, and I ship you not, by next season, you will have dozens of them just popping up. Like, they will, I, and lettuce is funny. Lettuce will literally, like, hibernate in the wintertime. And then when it gets to a certain temperature, it just takes off. Like, it likes cooler weather. So you can get lettuce to grow in, like, the wintertime. As long as it's warm enough. There are certain varieties of lettuce, I know for a fact, that are very cold tolerant. And they will actually grow really well in almost freezing temperatures. And... If, if anyone is thinking iceberg lettuce, no, that is not. That is a cool weather one, but there are other varieties, um, strains, if you want to call them that, for, say, places like colder regions like Canada, Montana, Minnesota, or sorry, not Montana, Minnesota, like New York, Oregon, places that get, like, ridiculously cold, cold weather. That lettuce will 40 degrees, 35 degrees, it'll grow. Won't care. That's what it's used to. Yeah, I've never grown tomat uh, tomat tomatillos. Sorry, it took me a second to figure out how to pronounce that because I normally call them tomatillos. It's a palm tree. Once they're established, most plants, most trees are, except for citrus. Most plants and tree structures are fairly cold tolerant. Uh, do, 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 do. Something about shopping with Timu or the um, issues with the uh, aphids on the plant. The aphids, if you have it, I would say neem oil, but I've had the worst luck with neem. All of the bugs down here are pretty much immune to it. You can spray it on them. Some of them might die, but the rest of them just walk away like it was a damn summer shower. <sighs> but the, yeah, the uh, the black stuff, that look, that sounds like fungus rot to me. So, your best bet on that one, 
soap and water, spray your plant down, wait, and then wash it off. And do that every couple of days. That should clear up most of the problems. Uh, it could also be a lack of nutrients for said plant. If it's inside of a building or inside of your boss's house, that could be an issue as well. Could not be getting enough sunlight, not enough water. Might be lacking iron. Could also, if you really wanted to, just take like a tablespoon or two of bone meal or blood meal, sprinkle it in the soil and water it in. That could help. Celery bolts in temperatures under 40. That's interesting because I've got celery growing. I've heard, damn it. I've heard of this one, but I've never used it. I've never seen it down here. Sorry, that's the one of it. So it's an outside plant. Um, it could be a soil fungus. I hear the word palmetto bug and I always think potato bugs, but I know damn well it's a stink bug. It's funny how the same bug has like four different names. Oh, that's a cockroach. What the heck? I type in palmetto bug and it gives me cockroaches. Oh, so that is a cockroach. So palmetto bug is a cockroach. What? Yeah, I just had to look that up, Grace. I was like, I didn't know a palmetto. I thought palmetto bugs were the stink bugs because that's what they call them. So it did similar to like a Madagascar hissing cockroach or not that big. Yeah, so for your for your issue that you're having there, uh, Amanda, your best bet probably just sprayed off of the hose. MIB issue. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, just spray it off with a hose or, I mean, like soap water. Um, actually, on that one drops, we got both of them coming out this year. We've got the 7-year and the 13-year popping out within like weeks of each other. I think it's like a week or two weeks. You got the long generation and then the short gen are all popping out this year. So we're getting both 7 and 13 year cicadas this, this spring. So it's going to be annoying. Now cicadas don't eat much. They'll eat like a leaf or two here. It's just they're extremely noisy. Yeah, if you never want to have a good night's sleep, have like eight cicadas in a tree outside your window. Oh, God, that stuff. It's a little bug about this big, about two inches. White and brown, depending on the species and depending on your location. I've seen them green, too. Big old eyes, basically clear wings, similar to like a dragonfly, but about as big as like a hummingbird. I mean, they have huge, they have huge wings. It's crazy. They unfold them. Damn things are like three, four inches long. And it's like sleeping next to a chainsaw on idle. They are loud AF. And if you get two or three of them in a tree, good luck sleeping. Let me see if I can hear. Let me uh, let me do this. 
just to prove, like I, I will do this here, just for you guys. Most of you all know what a cicada is. Most of you all know what the cicada sounds like. For Amanda, who does not know that, let me let me show you. And it's all noise, like it's all with the wings. Let me see if I can do this. Of cicada. There's a green they version. Really loud. So a lot of people ask me how these cicadas make their sounds and why they make their sounds. So I will answer. Yeah. Like these things are stupid loud. And if we open up the wings, that organ right there. Yeah, I don't know if you heard that here. <laughs> See if I can get a better one. So these are the ones we get here in the in the basically the U.S. We get these dark, like brown and white. Almost as loud as a chainsaw. See, chainsaw. If, if you could hear that, try getting like four of those in a tree. You won't sleep. And yes, that is correct, Grace. Yeah, those things are uh, up to 100 decibels, which is as loud as a chainsaw. So imagine three or four of those in a tree right outside a window. Yeah, it, it's let's let let's put into perspective. Say it would be a pocket-sized toy on a chainsaw motor on idle, and that's what you got. Those things are noisy as hell. <laughs> Hey, there is Jason. Either he's got power back or his uh, internet is currently working. I don't have an issue with ladybugs on my windows. Because that's what a love bug is. A love bug is a ladybug or a lady beetle or ladybird or whatever. Jason's outside on the phone. That's right, because he lives in a Faraday cage, technically. But yeah, those things are incredibly noisy. And the funny part is I can find them in my trees at night. You try find a bug that's two and three inches making all kinds of noise and it's the same damn color as your tree. You try finding that with a flashlight. It ain't easy. One of me actually, one of me tracks by sound, which is really funny. Not me personally, but um, one of my others tracks by sound. It makes it so much easier. I've never heard about ladybugs eating paint off your um, car. Ooh, should probably keep that away from the warm. The exhaust on my computer, making them warm. Yeah, but then you gotta buy a new tree. I was hoping to get to 20 people today, but here's what it is. Pretty sure that's what it is, so. What bugs are? Oh, those things. 
March flies. Gotcha. Okay, never mind. I was wrong. I will admit I was wrong. Yeah, I don't get a lot of those down here. And when I do see them, I squish them. Because they're just as annoying. Now, the Japanese beetles, you, you're going to usually find that on more like the bushes, like your bush style plants. Blueberries, blackberries, raspberries. And then they might be on your, um, like, lettuce, carrot tops, your parsley, stuff like that. They might be on things like that, like spinach. They go for more, I don't know why they go, they seem to go for more of the, like, leafy greens. <laughs> Um, yeah, the Japanese beetle is like a, like a greenish color in most cases. It's, um, the Japanese beetle is a similar to like a scarab, just shorter. Yeah. Spray them with soap water. Well, they're a little bigger than ladybugs, but yeah. I was hoping that certain people were going to a certain person was going to pop in tonight. I did inform them that I was going live, but they never responded. So he might be busy. Give me a second, folks. I got to um, flush the sinuses because they're being all stupid right now. Yeah, there's also the uh, false ladybug. It looks like a ladybug, but isn't a ladybug. Which is really hard to tell unless you really know your species of ladybugs, because there's like, I think like a, I don't know, a dozen or so varieties of stinking ladybugs. But, ooh, anywho's, I digress. <sighs> Yeah, from here, here's a question from your guys' standpoint or perspective, looking onwards into basically what I'm sort of seeing right here, plus like my background. Does it look really cluttered, like really bad? Should I put something on it? Should I try something different? Does it look like, I guess, mangy, grungy, whatever? And then in a few minutes, I will take this guy right here and i will flip him around and cover all of that but i just wanted to get your guys's opinion does it look really cluttered does it look bad yep oh, there we go there it is i was wondering when the cons when we were going to get a conspiracy theory in here college dorm style you ain't going to get half this shit in a college dorm. You might get the bunk bed and then like a desk. So, I have to move stuff everywhere. I have things all over the place. All right, that's the side that sticks. So then does it look better this way? It's actually pretty dark from here.
How does one create a bug? Does that look better? Well, I understand that from for you guys. But remember, I'm doing a somewhat professional interview tomorrow on uh, Garden State Gardener's channel. So I would like to have a space that doesn't look like a homeless kid is living in it. Try that again. I tried the green screen. It won't work. My camera has too wide of a lens. And in order for me to get a green screen to work, the thing literally has to be directly behind me. Because from here, from the space that it shows you here, to that section on my bed, is like eight feet I was trying, I was test, that's what I had, a, I had a test live earlier that I was using just to um, test out the green screen, and I could not get it to work against this, or make it go far enough over here to block out all of this. It just wasn't working. The only way for me to do that as a setup is I would have to literally be in my own standalone area that had just one solid wall that I could either paint green or put a backdrop on. I should probably move these out of the way, though. My plates and all of that. That way it's not... Because once I get all this out of the way over here, you can't see nothing. Because the only thing over there is a clear container. Although I am going to be fairly, you know, foreground in this. So my, my ass will be uh, blocking most of this. But I guess I can throw this up here. See if it actually Joe might not care, but I still kind of want to make it, you know, look somewhat professional. Like again, like I don't live in a uh, college dorm or whatnot. You wouldn't even see the top of my. Dude, my ceiling is like 12 feet high. Well, you wouldn't even see a shower curtain over here. Right, look, this is my ceiling. I should way up there. To the top of that beam, the top of that beam is like eight and a half feet. Actually, it might actually be 10 feet. Yeah, I'm curious. I think it's like eight and a half feet <clears throat> from beam to beam. You got that stuck in there. Yeah, it's about eight feet. To the top of that beam, to those beams right to the bottom of that beam is eight feet, and that's another eight inches right there. So, yeah, unfortunately, I can't do that. <clears throat> Again, not exactly my, um, I do not own this property, so I cannot put things into here. And again, even if I did put a green screen in there, it wouldn't matter, I'd have to have the thing like 12 feet wide. Evening, Colin. Hey. Well, Jason was the one that wanted the link, too, and he can't even get up here. Thank you. Just trying out options to figure out what I can do to see what I can get done. At least with um, the curtain down all the way or my blinds down all the way, you don't see all the junk on my window. Right. I do just got to move a couple of things over here, and then the only thing you'll see behind me is the... Uh, my sewing machine down here in the bottom and then my air conditioner behind me yep they had a uh, two for one uh, special at work 
for shirts. So hence the shirt. They're they're trying to get rid of clothes. We have, we're overstocked on clothes. How am I doing there? Where are you? Oh, by the way, Cliff, is this am I lagging or anything? Not at the moment. Okay. There we go. Oh, brats, and he didn't even even think to invite us. You know how hard it is to put that together in the dark. No. It's difficult. Well, that's the propane powered one, right? Yeah. It's just okay. Show. Now, all I can hear right now, Cliff, is uh, King of the Hill, Frank Hill, Hank Hill saying, clean, efficient propane. Clean, efficient propane. I sell propane and propane accessories. Especially <laughs> here in Texas. That's the reason right. why I, that came to mind there, Jason. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what type of sauce do you got there? Just a regular um, Italian sausage. Okay. I'm going to say all beef, or you said use, use sausage, so that's different. Oh, I'm using pork, of course. Jenny likes the cheesy brats. Well, so do I. I can handle one, and that's about it because they—they, they, I just feel overstuffed when I eat one of those things. Yeah, you gotta keep an eye on these, though. Oh, look who's got shorts on! Yeah, oh, tell you he's wearing shorts the minute he, uh, the minute I saw the blue. I know, but not, I'm not used to seeing his legs. <laughs> yeah, blue screen. <laughs> Funny thing is, I have a pair of shorts exactly like that, but they're just straight, solid black. Actually, no, they're not. They're, I believe they were black and blue. But the other way blue around, stripe. it was the blue stripe and then the black. Yeah, the cheesy jalapeno ones were good. Oh, yeah. Me and, uh, when we went to Iowa, me and Blake found some. They were, um, they were like, chili, like, chili match. Style, like brats. Oh man, those things were so damn good. Yeah. We, we have some here chili today. cheese brats. Hi, Molly. Yeah, we have some. Oh, she's inside the house. Hey, Molly. I don't think you can hear her. Yeah, but uh, we got these ones called Zumos here. Awesome. So we got Zumos here. They're pretty good. It's only for this region. Oh, that's weird. It's not that weird. They sell local yeah. stuff too. Like we have Jasper Opelie. Yep. Is that your daughter? Yep. Is she doing okay? Yeah. She's a gimp. She's gimping around. So wait, 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 wait. Is is um she part of the uh, Lord of the Rings crew? Yeah. Yep. Gimp me? What? You lost me there, Cliff. You've never watched Lord of the Rings? I have, but I mean, but I don't understand what it, what it means in that reference. Gimli. Yeah. What about Gimli? Yes, she's one of the Lord of the Rings cats because she's now a gimp. That means she's Gimply. Oh, okay. Okay. Now I get it. The wheel's turning, but the hamster fell out. No, he's, he, he's got a he's got a bum knee. He can't keep going. All right, see you, Amanda. Thanks for stopping by. Bye, Amanda. Bye. Love you too, Smanda. Smanda, Amanda, Smanda. Be safe. See you next time, or I'll hear from you later. One of the three. I'll I will be right back, Cliff. He'll be back. Yeah, we, well, we found out what happened. A tree fell on the transmission line for the main power coming into town. <laughs> you guys got heavy winds down there? No. I guess it was just an old tree and it just went over. Well, oh, that's funny. Yeah, see, that's, a, that's what I was telling Molly earlier when she would popped on. Is that the only thing I can think of is that uh, there was service disconnect between the, main, between the uh, transfer line. 
or like somebody hit a telephone pole that was like a, like right <laughs> after it and they just took out the power. Yeah, but it happened on the other side of town. <laughs> yeah, that's just weird. Yeah, we're towards the end of the uh, service for town for our, uh, where, where our services. Yeah. So how long are you guys looking before the rest, uh, restoration? What, like 5 a.m.? Uh, probably as soon as we're done eating and this live, we'll probably pop back on. Oh, that that would be annoying. Yeah, it would be. It is what it is. Now I can do a whole lot about it. Yeah, but this is that little cheap uh, Walmart one. Yeah. This is the uh, Expert Grill. How much do we pay for this one, honey? $35. How much? Thirty-five. Thirty-five $35. It almost goes together with no tools. All you need is a Phillips head screwdriver. Just about everybody has one of those. If you got a pocket knife, you got a Phillips head screwdriver. Yeah, somewhere. Two, yeah. The problem is when you're putting it together in the dark, all the pieces are black. Oof. Yeah, all they had is my small little lantern. And I see if I would have had any extra flashlight at the, for the trip. I would have given you one. I said if I would have had any extra flashlights for the trip, I would have given you and Molly one. Oh, we got plenty of lanterns. We've got like eight, nine, ten lanterns. They're all packed. Look at me. I mean, they're packed away. We keep some of them out. We even have uh, propane lanterns. We even have um, oil lamps too. Oh, I didn't even—I didn't even take my Coleman lantern. I still got—I got, a, I got two Coleman like old Coleman lanterns. I got one from like the seventies. But it needs a mantle head because it's short one. I need a globe for it. Other than that, it works. And then another one that I have, it's a newer version, but there's something I got to take it apart again and clean the, um, the adjustment knob port. It's not, it, it, once you light it, you can't shut it off all the way. For some reason, it like stays. It's kind of clogged, and you got a uh, you know something blocking it. I took the whole thing apart and cleaned it the first time. I don't know what's going on. It, it's possible I just need to replace the whole stem unit. What's um? Are you missing the globe? Is that the problem? You got a thing you got to replace for the one from the seventies? Yes. You know the model number? Rick, no, I'd have to go out to the shed and get it, and I'm not going to go do that right now. Right. It's an old one. I mean, it. this is like... Is that the ones that are actually you know, more rounded rather than straight up and down? No, it, it's a straight vertical one, but it, you can tell by the lantern, the way that the, the design on it, mm -hmm. that it's old. I got it. I paid like 20 bucks for it. Well, the one I've got is the you know that propane one I showed you a while back. Yeah. It's, I still got a cracked globe on that one, but I, but I can't figure out where to get another, another one. So Walmart. Walmart. But this one's an older model, though. Most of the globes are roughly um, relatively the same size. It'll tell you for, like, those globes or the, sorry, the glass is, there's like 15 different models with a fit on. Now, unfortunately, the particular one that I need is like nine inches wide. Like, the, the thing at the... The globe on that it, thing it's huge. Massive. Oh, it, it's a huge globe. Okay. Which they they call globes, even though technically it's a tube. It's a chimney. I thought it was called. Mm -mm. That's for um, oil lamps. Is uh, chimneys. Oil and kerosene is chimneys. But yeah, it's it's a really old one. So I got to see. I've been trying to find one, but I haven't been searching hard enough, hard enough. So what I need is I need the other, the other mantle headpiece, which threads on to the gas port. Mine actually has the model number on the glass, so I can just you know type that in. Mine doesn't because when I bought it, it didn't have the globe or the glass. That guy wanted forty bucks for the one without the glass, and I said I ain't gonna pay forty bucks because it doesn't have the glass. At the time when I bought it, I didn't notice that it wasn't that it was missing the other mantelpiece. So I got both of them for like thirty five dollars. 
The other one wouldn't even work because the plunger wasn't uh, it wasn't pumping. So there there was a few issues and yeah I don't know what it is I like finding old Coleman stuff lanterns stoves and I'll restore them if they're not broken, hundred percent. Yeah, here's. Yeah, see, it, it's great if you have the original globe that has the model number on it, but mine didn't come with it. Yeah, it's like R214A046C. And right there for you, Jason, that is why we prep for stuff like this, for when there's oh, a yeah. power outage. <sighs> I wonder <coughs> if I could do this outside. Well, it's holding up a uh, a nine inch skillet. I mean, I assume it would. It looks like you got the thing on a rock. No, I have it on my cooking table. I my lodge the cooking table. Ah, your light went out. Yeah, that's what the, the uh, my motion one? sensor one. Yeah. <coughs> that was the best five bucks ever spent right there. Yeah, it only works for a couple minutes, and then they shut off on you. Uh, it's about 30 seconds. As long as I'm moving, I'll stay on. Oh, so it's motion activated. Yeah. Yes. I've got an old one that I actually have that I got at Harbor Freight like shit eight years ago. And you, you want to talk about a little tiny LED that is like bright as haze, man. That thing will light up a whole yard. What kind of skillet is that one there, Jason? Oh, I don't know. It's a cast iron skillet. Probably one of the random ones that he took with us or took with him when they went to the camping trip or the meetup. Yeah. And it looks like onions. Yep. Onions and butter. One of the things that came into into the uh, DAV store last week was a um, Model Zero Wagnerware uh, lid for, for a 10-inch pan. And they're probably going to put in like 10 bucks on it. Man, where'd everybody go? Damn, that like, my whole chat just cleaned out. There's like one person watching. It probably drops. No, I'm always watching. Oh, she's not. <coughs> she's, having watch she's having trouble watching because she's inside the house. Ah. Uh, it says, Rob says, just get an LED one or let you know how to make biogas. Biogas is easy to make. That's not that hard. Everybody produces biogas. Cool. Yeah, but not biogas. You can burn. You can burn that, too. There's videos about that stuff. Yeah, some of those actually... Yeah, some of those solar lights actually work pretty good. Like I said, I've got one that... It's weird. So... It comes in two pieces technically. You get the solar light, and then you get the 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 solar with the battery pack technically. But there's like a 12 foot cable that plugs into it from one to the other. So you can set like the motion sensor in the carport. Yeah, on the the carport, and then like the 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 LED, the solar panel up on the roof somewhere. And still get anybody that walks within like 15 feet of that thing. They just get blasted with, I think it was 500 lumens at the time is when that thing came out. Yeah, this one's 800 here. As you see, it lights it up pretty good. Yeah, I got to see if I can find the other. I had like three of those things that I bought. And one of them died because I left it out in the sun and the sun just ate the plastic. Jenny's got an owl that lights up. The solar power light uh, light up one. Garden, the eyes garden, light up. Little garden one. Yeah. Sometimes it's the easiest way to find our house is to look for the owl. Yeah. 
I'm just watching Jason Cook for some reason. I don't know why. <sighs> it almost might, makes you wonder, at Pest Hunter Outdoors, uh, outdoor cooking, is he cooking what he catches and cooks, or is it just him cooking? Yeah, well, I kind of I mean, only done well. I highly doubt Molly would be um, all too uh, happy with him if he decided to start cooking her. Hmm. No, let's start with the squirrels first. Because technically Molly is his best catch, so he did catch her. Don't think no, he Did he catch her or did she catch him? Both. Oh. Oh, the has got to uh, go talk to a lumber smith. <laughs> I've seen an old uh, video about a medieval encampment today. They actually showed the. You ever heard of this pot, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah I need to get like an eight inch skillet for this thing so I can do this. Yeah, they actually showed somebody making a ceramic version for that purpose. Who just randomly makes a ceramic piss pot out in the middle of nowhere? No, no, no. This is they were doing a uh, medieval um, reenactment from England. Yeah, this is what they were recreating a a, a full on tent set up with all the gear that would be back in the Middle Ages, and this is what the some of the things they had in the tent. They, have, they had one made for a man and one made for a woman. Okay. I've never heard of one for a woman before, but it's interesting that there is. The tent was an umbrella style pavilion, single pole pavilion thing. And similar it, to yours? Well, like mine, actually, it's like I consider it an upgrade from what I have because it doesn't have any side poles. It has one center pole and it has uh, spokes that go out from the top in a hub that goes to the corners instead. So that allows you to more floor space. Because yeah, we, it's more the tension on the top beam because if that thing gets wet, you have a, you run the risk of the beam. Uh, no, it's just the same hole like you would for my, like mine does. I mean, literally the top part is the same size. It's just that the spikes go out from a center hub, like a um, what's the word? What are those things called? Um, a frames? No, no, no. I mean, because it's a toy that looks like you know, okay, um, like connects sort of. To get okay. the round hub with a pole that goes through it, and they had the spokes that come out like, like a big wheel. Or, uh, no, I was going to say Lincoln logs, but no, what were those stupid yeah. toys? Yeah, it's made of wood, all made of wood. Yeah, they're similar okay. to the connects, connects are the plastic version, right? But like I said, it's like that, but um, I want to say kinetics toys. What the hell? No, 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 that's, that's this, that's the new one. Um, no, kinetics is the uh, motorized version, it's basically like um. No, what the heck were those things called? Tinker toys. It's Tinker toys. No, not Tinker. It's um. Oh, I can't remember the name of them. Yeah, Tinker toy. I think it starts with an L. No, those are Lincoln logs. No, not Lincoln logs. It, the, the stuff that Colin's talking about, the you get you get like the round wooden hub that had like the six holes on the outside and the one yeah. in the middle. Those were link. Those were Tinker toys. I can't remember off the top of my head. Right, I know uh, they have a picture of it. But I just can't remember. Oh, it was Yeah, these freaking things. You do. Uh, no, 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 no. Nope. This is what you're talking about. These little bastards. Yeah, like that. Yeah, those are Tinker Toys. Okay. Is that what it, okay. Yeah, they're called Tinker Toys. Well, it's, it's similar to that, but it's just got the one center pole, and it's got the one, those sit at, at a, the hub sits at the top of it and comes out to the, all the corners, just like mine does. Yeah, like this one? Like this? Yeah. I know there's a picture here. On I got a picture on, on my computer here. I just got to find it. Oh, here yeah, it is. There was Lincoln Log. I, I grew up playing with all of that stuff. Yeah, 
They did make plastic Tinker toys, but I, th I felt the plastic ones broke faster than the wooden ones. Oh, here's here's that right here, Cliff, like that. Oh. So just like a Tinker toy. Dang it. That still had ground poles. No, it didn't. Uh, give me a second. Those are no. Those are just the seams. That's all it has. It goes straight out to the corners. There's got to be a ring around that. That uh, yeah, it's a spoke wheel concept. Yeah. So the where those posts connect to the outside, there's probably a wooden ring that goes around it. No, it has um. What's it called? Um, the, 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 the spike where the tent poles come through. They like fit in cups. Those are uh, the uh, fabric cups that the pole sits in that pushes them out. Like a, it's like an umbrella tent is another name for it because it looks like a giant umbrella because the walls are separate from the top, like my hmm. tent is. I'm, I'm going to see if I can find uh, another version of that. Um, Yeah, yours needs some serious work. You got to get that snow skirt fixed and you got to replace every cord, get all of the stakes that you need, and get all matching uh, guy, uh, guy out tensioners. Right. I know that because it's, I just haven't had the money to do that. But yeah. Uh, Cecilia's thought, I don't know why Cecilia's hungry. Oh, it's crying because she's watching Jason over there cooking. Probably. Now, has CR been in here yet? No, I have not seen CR tonight. Uh, maybe he's he popped in and didn't want to, want to say anything. Like, he probably popped in and didn't want to say anything. No, he hasn't popped in. Usually when he pops in, he pops in and says something. Because Unless he's hungry. He's he's the pun matic so he it, if he hasn't dropped a pun yet, he hasn't popped in. <laughs> uh kind of similar to a yurt, but not quite. Well, here we go. Because um, a yurt has an accordion style wall, and then you have the top frame that sits on top of the wall. Yes, a yurt does have a center pole, which okay, you know, a center pole has advantages, but at the same time, it kind of basically limits what you can put in your space because okay, Cliff, you check have that to worry out. about where your center poles are. That's what it looks like without the walls. Good Lord, you have to seriously get that thing balanced, otherwise that sucker going to fall over. Exactly. It's all rope, that single pole is the only thing that holds it up, and the ropes. God, like, looks like 12 guy-out points on that, Jesus. At least, probably four, more to 14 to 16. But where they normally would put poles like on mine, they use ropes only. And count the spokes, there's a ton of them. Yeah, it looks like there's uh That's why we call, some people call it the umbrella tent. That's 16. That's bigger than mine. Mine's only a 14. 14 poles. So that's a lot. <laughs> One, I don't even think yours was 14 poles. I thought it was only like 12. 14. Was it 14? Yep. I don't remember guy nothing out that much though. Well, it, it is fourteen. Ah, that's crazy. No, I just I I know I need new ropes. I just haven't had a chance to sit down and make some new um, cargos for them. You know, for the ropes. Yeah, the I, mean, I could do it without them, but the toggles look more authentic for what I do. Yes, you can do it without the toggles. You have to you have to know the, the slip line knot, which is I believe it's two over, one under. Yeah, like I said, that's why I like using the toggles. It's a lot easier to grab it and slide. You also don't have to sit there and try to remember two over, one under, or exactly. one over and two under, whatever it is. Exactly. It's also easier to wind up when you can grab a hold of that toggle and just wrap it around your hand and then roll it up that way. But I need to get some more three eighths rope, which I can get by in the fifty foot rolls, and just go around and make new ropes. That's not that's I've done it before. I just that I haven't had a chance to set it up much since last year. Yeah, I think each one of those, if you're going to do that, you need to do each one of those sections at twenty feet. It's usually I use about 10, 10 to six, six to ten feet. 
No, if you're going to do that, split the difference, go 12. Well, well, you have extra rope just in case. Well, what I usually do is uh, guy it out about six feet out to the side of the thing at an angle, which ends up being about between six and ten feet. And also, that's why I said you the triangle. You can get those. You can get those posts out farther. And then what you can do is you can run tarp around the outside and have like a secondary, like little shade area. I probably could, but that's a lot of extra weight, especially when it gets rainy. And I wouldn't come with a plastic tarp don't weigh nothing. But then again, if you're doing it traditional, you'd have to have a canvas tarp. Correct. But right now, I mean, it's got a lot of room in it already, as you already know. And um, Rex has it with, with a, according to math, it's about 144 square feet on the inside. <laughs> I don't know about that. Pi R squared. It's, yeah, it's got a twelve. It's a twelve foot round. From one pole to the other pole across, it's twelve feet. No yeah, it's twelve feet. Going. But a lot of that space you're not really utilizing because it's above height. It's above uh, reach area. No, about, I'm going from the sides straight down. Circle floor space only. One hundred forty-four feet. I'd say maybe like one hundred and ten, because you're if, if you're going from the spokes down. No, I'm not talking about circumference, and you're probably about one hundred and ten. No, no, I'm talking about circle circumference. Yeah. Yeah. The whole area of a circle. Yeah, the whole area of the circle, but that's from the from no. the spokes down. Nope. Floor space is what you stand on. When I have that center pole in there, one hundred and forty-four square feet. Before I put anything in. Yes. Did I lose some because my, my bed because it takes up half the space? Yeah, your bed really is. That's an awkward setup for that size. Well, uh, that's why we wanted to go to a slightly bigger one to like a, a 14 uh, like for square uh, for, uh, 14 uh, foot round. You really need a square or a rectangular one. Well, the thing is, I like the fact that my round one's different. No one else has one. The, when they see that, when they know that's mine. If that makes any sense. Yeah, it makes perfect sense. It just it just the way the, the layout on that and how wide your bed is, it just oh that bed is small compared to the first one I had. The first one I had was a queen size when I mean, it was made with four by fours. Somebody Too gave much. it to me. Too I ended up much. giving it away myself. So that my center pole went through the, the middle of that bed. Because that's where the uh pole had to go. That was like six feet wide, or, or see, what was that? it was like seven, six and a half feet wide only, just we're in the center part of the bed, instead of right well, next to my bed. What difference between if you're running two twin mattresses, give or take? Yeah, you you can kind of split the difference on that post, just caddy corner the, uh, and then just set the post in there, like at the foot end. Right, but my this one is a full is a full size bed instead of a queen. Like the first one was, and um, it's not perfect. But when I was just just me, it was fine. But Jenny doesn't like the fact that it sags after a bit because that's what rope beds do, and also that's where the term "sleep tight" comes from. Well, you can always adjust that, you know, throughout the days. You know, if you're going to be there on oh. like an extended uh, journey, then yeah, you just tighten up the cordage. There's a there's actually there's a cheap, easy method to do that, and that's just put uh, where all those loops go through the the sides. Put wedges in. Them. I'd be rounded wedges, not square ones. You cut your uh, obviously, but um, that would still and allow for it'll tighten up the back. The, the drops that dang thing is heavy. It is solid canvas. You've got a center pole that's what is that? Twelve. Left, feet? Left, just a little shy of twelve feet. Yeah. Twelve foot center pole. You got fourteen six foot poles on the outside. Correct. All of the three eighths, basically hemp style rope, or I guess boat rope. It's ten it's three eighths rope. And then you have fourteen metal stakes. So that thing, I think, total weight on that is around eighty pounds. That's actually uh, not all the stakes that came with originally, because I lost some over the years. It actually had uh, where the uh, sod cloth was. That part that's rotting. This is the second time I've had to repair. The first I've had to repair at least once or twice over the years. 
and um, I had to take it to someone who dealt with canvas to do that because that's a lot of sewing that I can't do. So I don't have yeah, the proper gear. Then with that sod cloth, you've got two options for it. Cause I know that I noticed when I, when we set it up, that thing had belt lo uh, loops at the bottom. That's where the small, that's what I was talking about. The original one had little tiny short stakes that were just for that. The sod cloth, I don't use it as much to hold it down because I usually have these, these tent poles on top of the sod cloth. So usually I don't need the them as much. I just put them on the inside. That way it helps keep the critters out. Um, I have not had any critters get in there, so which is really nice. Um, except for uh, the, the two-footed kind. Which I've already told you about that. But um, yeah, it, it it's a really nice tent, as you know, and it's really comfortable. It actually yeah. maintains heat really, really well. So I want to replace that one panel with a stovepipe hole. Probably put a little wood stove in there. No, well, at least I'm getting practice in. Oh, it'll fit in a wagon because I use I use a, a a navy footlocker to, to haul it around in. Not the poles, just the canvas. I was gonna say what you can do is you can make a uh, basically a rever. A, I mean, I guess it would be a wheelbarrow, but like a pack barrel. Has like well, one you, wheel in the back, and then you just got two long handles that come up in the front, and you just carry those or have them on there. Um, okay, okay, there's a thing that Blake might, might know about. It's about where they portage uh, kayaks, the thing with two wheels they added to their kayak to help roll it. Yes. Something like that would be perfect. But he's not here right now. He might be, but he hasn't said anything. But oh, he's um, been in here, but he's been on and off in here all day or all uh, for most of the live. I noticed it doesn't quite get hot enough. Crank it up Friday. a little bit more. It is all the way up. <laughs> Are you low on fuel? That's a possibility. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. If that's the only reason it was not getting hot enough, is you're out of fuel. I mean, no, it's hot. No, it doesn't mean it couldn't be hot. It's just yeah. the fact that you might get again, the 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 cold. Yeah. those two pounds of cold cold get cold. Cold. They don't last very long. Which is why no, I'm that is the problem with those. That's the reason why when you buy those green bottles, they sell them in a four pack. Two to four pack, depending on which where you're at. Most of the time around here, I see them in the four pack. We like got them in the two pack here. Bucks. We see them for the two pack at Walmart. But that's why I usually get the adapter uh, hose and use a five pound. Uh, okay, bars. Yeah, but you're not gonna walk around with a freaking five pound uh, propane tank. I don't walk around with one. No. Can you just I, imagine walking through the bush and you just see a dude dragging a five pound propane tank? You're like, what the hell is he doing with a five gallon propane tank in the bush? Actually, that kind of reminds me of the guy who made a uh, flamethrower using one of those, and he had a backpack made with the hold that thing, one of those things. Oh yeah. And he had a backpack, a five-gallon one on his back. Yeah. You need about a seven-foot hose on there. Because, I mean, the, the standard adapter hose is about seven feet long. Yeah. I got it in my truck right now. But like I said, I was saying, my, my tent is that one spot that I got ripped. I can we'll see about getting that panel replaced with a stovepipe hole. That would be the perfect spot for it. All right, everybody. I'm going to go feed everybody. No, you're not. So I'll see everybody next time. All right. Take care, Jason. Yeah. Night, Molly. Hey, Jason. Uh, no, the thing is, my that tent drops is not meant for, uh, sur you know, survival. We have other tents we carry. It's just that that's the one I like to do for reenactments and when I'm hit setting up a base camp. When you're in base camp, you want to be as comfortable as possible, not, you know, bare minimum. Sarah, hey, Sarah, how are you doing? Long time no see. That has been a hot minute. So she drove through the mountains? I've been through Albuquerque. I love the area. It's got a nice feel to it. But like I yeah, said, this is the I was, desolation. I was like 14 years old, Cliff, when I went through there with my family.
I've been driving through this state on and off since I was like five. Well, yeah, I'm, not, I'm not driving, but like, you know, venturing through the state. Cliff, you were even thought of when I went through <laughs> through there. Probably not, but still, I mean, I, dude, I honestly, I hate this state sucks. It's, it's too dry, it's too brown. Ouch. I will not put that on the screen because that does not need to be said for, need to be broadcast, but I, I'm sorry for the uh, current reduction in family. We'll say that. I hope you are doing all I'm right. Sorry for your loss, Sarah. Through all of that, seems like everybody has lost somebody this year or within the last six months. Hey, Cliff, I think I told you about this, but I haven't seen it yet. Just, I paid 49 cents for this dude, with my discount from work. Found another one? This is not for me. That's well, the color. Obviously, that's got to go to Amanda because that's pink. <laughs> it's never been used. I mean, and it's not just someone did it with a spray can, but because they even did the inside. So the whole thing is pink. It's possible it just, I just came that way from the factory because of reasons. Okay, there's words here. Let me see what this says on the handle here. Um, light Farms Lamp is what it's called. Only thing it doesn't have is the chimney. PN correct. Don't know that one. But, oh, you mean politically correct? You mean PC? But, yeah. I said you'll put that with her. And this thing says there's never been used. She shouldn't have any issues with the... Uh, oh, this is... Uh, okay, it came from Thailand. Man, that sticker ain't even worn. That's where it came from. Just needs a chimney, and chimneys are cheap. So I'm not sure how the cheap they are in Australia. No, I'm not about. I'm not all about that. Um, the the BS mental health issues that everyone's experiencing recently. Yeah, they can. Yeah, I'm not dealing with that. So. Yeah, there, there's no PN on anything. It's I'll be PC to a point, but I'm also extremely blunt. But yeah, we're still gonna we're just gonna call it reduction in family. But, yeah, I'm glad you're doing all right, sir. We missed you. Hopefully you'll uh, hopefully you'll pop in every once in a while. Back in the day, they used to make fun of it by saying, like, bought the farm and all this other stuff. Took the big dirt nap? Yeah. There's, like, half a billion ways to say it that doesn't mean, sound like it's mean. Or anything like that. Why I came up with the uh, reduction in family. That's kind of like reducing a sauce, like tomato, tomato sauce to a tomato paste. Nuclear family minus one? No, because if you nuke a family, they're all gone. You said nuclear, not nuke. Your nuclear is still an explosion. Well, it's but also anyway. it's called, you know, it's, there's there's ways to say it. You know, I've lost my parents. Or let's say, I'm sorry for your loss as per usual. Not yet. I haven't been there yet. This was know. this was less than fifty cents, and I happen to have change. But it is the same style, but that one actually does have a globe. Well, the globes for that are fairly common, so it should be easy to find one. Oh, yeah. They sell them at true value, but I just haven't had a chance to do anything. And I'm not I'm trying to figure out how would I get one of those things to Australia without them shattering. You don't. You just – um, you can, but that's uh, that requires a lot of bubble wrap. Well, i got to send her her mug and some other stuff that Jenny's – how do I get past Jenny, though? She likes doing this. I don't know. Well, 
We are definitely an awesome community, sir. Thank you for saying that. Okay, we are here. I brought Bubba wrap in the house. What happens? I usually pop it. She pops it. <laughs> There's your retort. I hate when people do that. I really do. Because that passive aggressive crap is just a joke. I just ha literally have not even been downtown. I wasn't even able to do much anyway because I my knee went out yesterday. You got an acorn tree on the property? Ooh, nice. That's a big oak tree. Acorns be falling on your head. You better hope not one of them's big enough to knock you out dead. Ah! I wasn't now, which that. type of acorn tree is it? <sighs> is it a regular acorn or a sweet acorn? There are differences. Well, that doesn't matter. You still can't technically eat them without boiling them. Well, the sweet acorns they don't need as much. I literally just watched a video about it. Damn, why do you not want to close? My computer's doing something weird. <sighs> Will you get off my damn screen? Oh, my God. What is it? Thank you. No, my... VPN is being weird. Nine, shut up. Thank you. What? What is? A, okay, please forgive me. What is a VPN? <coughs> Verified Protection Network or something like that. It's for oh, okay, I've seen the word uh, acronym, but I've never understood what it meant. Because I mean, they always. I mean, they always assume everybody knows what the acronyms mean, but they never say what they mean. Or oh, sorry, it's. I think it's Verified Privacy Network. No, okay, that too. Mine's just being weird. Doesn't want to close. Grace said, did you miss her? Yes. But you said you were you said you went you were doing something. Good night, Cecilia. I will see you tomorrow. See, there's Mike. Yeah, virtual private yeah, same yeah, virtual uh, or verified privacy network. I mean, it's the same difference. And Herbert T just popped in. Mm -hmm. So you got everybody. Now, I was hoping to get Mallory in here, but um, she hasn't messaged me back. So she's probably busy or doing something else. Did she change her hair? Yes, yeah, she did. I saw that. I like. I was like, that looks like Mallory, but I don't recognize the hair. <laughs> I didn't know Tyler was live. I never got a notification. Neither did I. Oh, yeah. I guess that... Uh, 7.49. That sucks for him that I didn't make it because I didn't know that was gone. I didn't even see it. That was his fault. Yes, an acorn tree is an oak tree. And there are various varieties of Oak tree. There's something called a sweet acorn oak that has less tannins in it than an average oak tree in the in the acorns. I like I said, I watched a video about it. It was on Dual Survival with uh, Dave Canterbury and and what's his name. Cody Lundin. Oh, so, I know it's an, oak. it's an oak. I know I can't eat it. You can eat the trees, not the nut. Mm -mm. No acorn, though. That's what I'm saying. You can eat the trees, not the nut. Tell your wife, Grace, I said hello, said Sarah. What? Yeah, I'm confused on that one, too, because last time I checked, Grace was a lady. Yeah, she's already married to somebody else, <laughs> and you're not married. Wigs. 
I'm still hungry. I'm not eating any more beef jerky. <laughs> yeah. Just as confused as I am. Ooh. I'm not even doing a sad part. Is I could probably drink another one of those. I'm not even feeling the first one. Yeah, and you said you ate before you started drinking, correct? Oh, I literally freaking finished eating like two minutes before I started drinking. What do you what you have? Lasagna. Yeah, yeah, you know, that would that would probably work. I just it, it's so easy to do that because I just come home, I turn the toaster oven on, I throw it in there, and I just wait. I'm mean, I usually have about 15, 20 minutes before the live starts to eat it. I've also yeah. been snacking on turkey <laughs> too, so that probably helps a little bit. What kind? Teriyaki. No brand wise. Same ones I've been buying. The Ranch House Meat and Meat Co. and Sausage Co. I'm not familiar with those. From Montana. I don't get those here. <laughs> it's funny considering you're not that far from Montana. I, I understand that. We get a lot of uh, old trapper. Oh, we got old trapper down here. This is a new company that they I think they started just shipping out random locations to see. Hey, like here's this. Try it out. See what you get. Well, we get you know we got Jack's links. We got old trapper. But I mean, even the you know every once in a while you get the uh, Walmart brand. But um, she meant to say kayak or call you back or. Tell your wife I said hello. Very tired and I'm the only one that has a wife up here is me. <laughs> and she's over there. <laughs> no she's worries. Like, Sorry, Jenny. It's, it's all Jenny understandable. Hi, Jenny. <laughs> and you're, given your situation, I can understand that. Your favorite cat has not made an appearance yet. No, he has not. Oh, he's, he's hanging out with Jenny right now. Ah. Ooh, Cajun chili. Ooh, Cajun chili sounds good. Not a hot, hot spice. I made supper before I came on. I had I made burgers. I had lasagna. Jason's eating sausages. Jason and Molly are stuffing their face full of wieners. <laughs> and if if either one of them is still watching, yeah, you heard me, you wiener eaters. Okay. Um, I've been actually seeing some really interesting things at, at work recently, though, Cliff, where they had me at. Okay. I had a hand crank uh, radio. Yeah. Flashlight. I, I think I told you about that. Yep. Thursday. And the thing is, that thing charges, it charged really well. A couple cranks, the thing was like, right, two two modes of flashlight. Um, they have a meat grinder, hand crank meat grinder with all the accessories, a potato Slicer, the ones that makes into uh, like French fries. You put it in there and you, and a seal uh, vacuum. Uh, what was it? Um, like a seal a meal thing, but um, I can't remember what it was. But you can vacuum seal your your food and stuff like that. Yeah, vacuum sealer. Yeah, I don't know if it had any bags or anything like that, but um, it seems to be complete. And they want like. Five bucks for most of that each. But I don't know why they do a lot of stuff, but anything really expensive that comes in, it goes on their eBay uh, page. And I've been trying to find the eBay page so because they have something there I saw on Friday that I've never heard of, but it's apparently worth 400 bucks. And that was a uh, antique airplane tea kettle. Yeah, not worth it. Um, what about a Hispanic uh, scimitar? You realize I live in a Hispanic state. Well, it says Guatemala on one side and Mexico on the other, and it has some inscription in Spanish that it's a scimitar. <sighs> And I cannot. Yeah, no problem. Somewhere. I uh, see what else that I've seen. Right, take care, of drops. Thanks for stopping in. Have a good night, brother. Yeah, I just don't know what the um, 
auction site for uh, who DAV is. Right. Poor Grace is like starving to death over there, but well, she's been to the hospital. What do you expect? Oh well, yeah, it's the meds also. You're on certain meds, you just don't have an appetite. No worries, sir. Like I said, sir, it, it's with given situation. It's all good. But once again, definitely glad to see you here. We haven't heard from you in a while, but now we understand why. And you are, once again, free and welcome to join us whenever we are live. Be with friends, be with fa uh, online family, and be with online friends. We are all here. Right on drops. Much appreciated. Yeah, I've been trying to find the DA the uh What kind of fish did you eat, Blake? Not that I technically actually care, but I mean since I don't eat fish anyway. Fish is gross. Can't eat it. Let's see, considering where Blake is at, it was either bass trout or randomly tilapia. Don't know why it would be tilapia, but considering how close to Florida he is, probably tilapia. Ugh. Yeah, I'm starting to wind down on this thing. It's already 9 o'clock here. Shit. It's two and a half hours? Two hours and ten minutes? Two hours and 21 minutes? Or true or catfish. The catfish tastes nasty, though. No, what tastes nasty is carp. Carp is a garbage fish. Exactly. They're also invasive, so people don't care if you just yank them up and drop them off on the basically my, the point. My dad says they're supposed to be uh, like uh, you can if you clean them right with clean out what they he calls the mud vein out of yeah. it. It's supposed to make it help taste better and it's also how he preps your prep it that makes it taste better i did not learn that lesson because i was about 10 or 11 when he was trying to show me this and and you know as a 10 year 11 year old being showed how to cook a uh, carp over fire did not sound very interesting so i didn't pay attention um the mud vein is basically that one little piece that's that one little brown strip that goes along the top or like along the spine on the bottom yeah but you're supposed to clean that out on any fish, technically. Yeah, but yeah, when you got a suck a fish that it's a bottom feeder, yeah, you, you, it tastes more muddy. But if you don't get rid of that, which is why I usually try to uh, skin my fish if I can, even though it doesn't need to be skinned, I skin it like a catfish. Just peel it like a banana. Right, good night, Sarah. Be well. Be safe. Take care. Have a wonderful sleep, and we'll see you on the next one. Meow. Swim, swim, swim. Meow. Swim, swim, swim. Catfish. Did not have a lot in here tonight, but that's all right. Normally, I have about fifteen-ish, but I just showed um, a picture to that of that of that lamp to uh, Mandy, and she goes, "It's for you." And she goes, "Really? It's a pink freaking lamp. Who else am I going to give it to?" Larry, the cable guy. Well, he's from Nebraska. What would he do with it? Not freeze. He was the tooth fairy. He was. <laughs> Most people forget about that movie. He's also the Riddler. Really? How is he the Riddler? He was the Riddler in Batman. He was? Yes, Jim Carrey was the Riddler. No, 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 no. I, we, well, we were discussing uh, Larry the Cable Guy. Then you went straight to Jim Carrey, which is like trying to throw. What? Larry the Cable Guy is Jim Carrey. No, he's not. Two different people. I swear to God. <laughs> oh, no, not, no. No. Sorry, from the movie, The Cable Guy. The dude's name was... I was talking about the Tooth Fairy, which was a, is a, the second movie that was done by uh, Larry the Cable Guy. Yeah, I do remember that one. That one, that movie was bad. 
Like it, it That's why I said most people don't remember that one. I remember him in the stupid pink tutu. Two. That's the reason. <laughs> like I've never seen the entire movie. I was like, no. It was the pink tutu, but it was the camouflage vest that he was still wearing at the same time. And the I'm baseball like, no, cap. Nope, sorry, no. And the baseball cap. Yeah, it it was bad. That, that movie was terribly. Blake still done ain't told me what fish he ate. Well, hey, Blake. Hey, Dan. Glad you could make it. Um, Knowing Dan, he's probably just popped in to uh, say hi and heading off to work. Yeah. Uh, apparently, um, Cecilia's mad at me because I didn't pick up her lamp yet. But I haven't even been downtown since the last time I was downtown, which is like two weeks ago. If that, that's was. between you and her. Yeah, I know. But it's kind of hard for me to get down there if I haven't been down there. Or I didn't have any reasons to, to go. And she asked me to pick it up for her. But I can't do that if I haven't been there. Oh, he's off work tonight. Oh, off work tonight. Okay. Okay, yeah, you went to Tyler before you came here? I did not know Tyler was live because I never got the well, I got the notification on my phone, but I never heard my phone buzz. I never got one. Be nice if he went live on like a Friday. Oh, yeah. Look. Yeah, okay. I got the notification Saturday night hangout, but again, that was like hour and 20 minutes ago. At 849 is when I got it. But the thing is, I was already on yours. Literally, he started his after yours. It was like 8.15 when I came on. Yeah. And Brian's been more active on YouTube as well, I've noticed. Who? Be ready. I haven't seen Brian in a little while. Yeah, me personally, he's a cool cat. I'm just, I don't gravitate towards channels that get all preachy. Well, he is a preacher, after all. I, I understand that. It, it, it's just hard for me to believe in any of that. Oh, I did get something free from work. Because they were throwing it out. Road rash. Okay, if, I can, if I can get it, I'll show, uh, show you what it is. It's a little ditty bag from Ozark Trail. Someone was throwing it away. Shitty bag. Well, it's a small yeah. one. It's uh, it was three three inches by eight inches from Outdoor Products, you know, Walmart brand. The bag itself is worth. You know something could be able to store gear out of the way. Cordage bag, huh? That's a cordage bag. It'd be something, but it's got you know big enough. Put stuff in, keep it out of your way, out of my way. Actually, considering the size of that bag, it probably had a tarp in it at one time. It, it well, it this is they sell the bags by themselves as storage bags, sort of you know, but it just you know zips up. Like that. Now, I wasn't going to have them just toss us in the trash. But I can actually use that. Not sure what to use it for, though. Probably ropes, most likely, like you said. Or a repair kit, maybe. I think too big for a repair kit, but that's probably just like a rope bag. Like, put extra cables or something in there. Earbuds. I mean, your uh, charge cables and blah, blah, blah. Actually, I can... Carabiners. That actually gives me an idea to check. Uh, let I me got see. one person watching. Yeah, look at me go tonight. Okay, let's see here. This is my new battery. It's too long. Yep, too big. But it does have the, you know, it's supposed to be able to go 
over it and seal it that way. But there's not much you can do with it. It doesn't look very good. But it's got a little uh, mesh bag on the inside. Yeah, I'll figure something. But I like your idea maybe about uh, maybe uh, small quarters or something, or maybe even some uh, extra small charge cable. Huh? Cordage or charging cable bag. I can understand charging cables, maybe. Extra earbuds, an extra headset, something. Oh, man. Oh, man, it just... That's what I mean. That just sounds wrong, Cliff. That's the whole point. <laughs> oh, now I got nobody watching. Sweet. That is awesome. That's a well, great apparently, day. Mandy to, loves the, the, the lamp. Post my thingy. Well, I guess with that in mind, since nobody seems to be watching. Might as well. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Grace is here. Do it now. It's, if, if you don't post anything, they, they make it, uh, they show that you're, like, you're not here, even though if you're just here listening. But, you need to do like what Will does, usually you just hit a, a period or something to let you keep yourself active in the chat. It's like if I did. not to say on that one, but anyways. Well, then you'll like, 9 11 anyway. Well, I need to I need to get wind down, wound down, go get cleaned up, and probably eat some more food. I am like the last two days I have been just munching. Uh -oh. You insulted her. Well, no, I said nobody is watching, so she said that she's nobody because apparently she's watching. Well, the thing is, if you use the term from the uh, Fast and the Furious movies, Mister Nobody, who was played by Kurt Russell, she, she like, could be a very, very dangerous woman. Seems so dark in here today. It does. Oh, you know why? It's because I normally I have that blanket over there. It's soaking up all the light. Yep. I bet you if I were to turn it around, it would be a little brighter in here. But, well, yeah, you can't really get me to do like anything, Cliff. Two because hours and we don't care. <laughs> but I mean, I understand for your interview, that's understandable. But for us, you don't need to do anything. Yeah, no, I just kind of wanted to be uh, look a little bit more professional, which means by the time I get home, I'm actually going to have to change my shirts because I'm not doing an interview in a bright orange-ass T-shirt. Get yourself a bib overall and a you know, big straw hat. You no, know, nah, I've got to uh, just work, put one of my work shirts on, my gray ones. No, I'm just saying if it's for Garden State Gardener, you know, coach doesn't matter. I guess he coach matters. No, I mean, he doesn't mind what you look like. He's actually about your skills, not what you look like. Well, yeah, but I, the, the funny thing is I don't have skills like some of these other people. I'm not Tony O'Neill. I don't have a freaking book out on like soil. No, 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 but your niche is different than everybody else's. Your container gardening skills are, to me, off the charts. Tony's is way better. I'm not saying that someone might not do better, but to me, your skills are really freaking good. And you should accept that because not everybody can do what you do. <laughs> At least not as well as I do. Well, especially in my conditions too. I got dry, dry soil. Exactly. Dry, dry heat. In your area of expertise, which is New Mexico, you are a freaking container god because of what you're working with or not <laughs> working with. Because you don't have the soil conditions. You have to make your own soil most of the time. Yep. And you start, you compost. A lot compared to what most people would do, and you do. Well, you my, compost, well, my compost takes forever because it's exactly. so hard to drive it out. Yeah, exactly. And you also um, are dealing with you know weather conditions, especially and the lack of water. You know, other than you're getting from your rain catchment system, which most people don't even use. Water. Most people don't have that catchment system. It's because they don't install the catchment systems. That's the problem. Well, they I mean, have so them. They just don't utilize them. Well, some people don't need them as much if they're in a place that gets a lot of water, per se. Like say, like Jason. Will does over in Washington State, they get a lot of rain over there. Or like Jason, or Jason, or, or me for that matter. But 
for your skill set, yeah, you for, for your strength, area, you know, know. that's amazing. But no you can do. You go, and you don't do it just in the containers. You've got your greenhouse. You got your starters, which you probably got down in your closet right now. If you got anything new coming in, nope, nothing. Almost everything's died except for the stupid sunflowers, which is funny. Half of them died, but I still got three of them hanging on. Well, there you go. There's something I told you. You had something in there. That's the stuff that's still been in there, just hasn't kicked the bucket yet. I don't know. Have some you started making sure that some, some I suck at anything on potatoes? Nothing so far. I still have them in the greenhouse. They're just chilling out there. They'll probably do something once I get them out into the sun. Because well, we're, we're, we picked out two from our uh, last batch of potatoes that we bought that were sprouting a little bit. Um, perceive where we can get them to germinate a little bit more. Um, no, the thing is, we're just we're a little worried since we had that freak snow the other day. I don't know when we're gonna really have to. We can put anything in the ground, you know. Yeah, see when your last projected frost date is, just kind of tear up the soil in one spot and just stick them in it's there. It's not for it another, go. according to the Farmer's Almanac, it's supposed to be around the 15th. But. You got another eight days? Yeah, but the thing is, they're predicting snow right. next week. Well, then so you wait till the end of next week and plant them after that. Right. Whatever snow you have will be good watering source for them. That's true. It's got to get them. Um, the thing is, uh, do I bury them deep or do it like you know shallow? About three inches deep. Well, it depends. Depends on the kind of the field, but roughly about three to four inches. Roughly about fist deep. But do you have what kind of processing you have to do with the soil though? Well, if you got supposedly you have good soil over there, according to you, just dig a hole and stick it in there. Let's see what happens, huh? Yep. Maybe we'll get lucky. Just make a, as long as the area that you have it in is you got like nice loose soil and it's not compact, you should be all right. Well, I don't know because I haven't really dug any holes. And right now I'm, I'm using Ian labor because yeah, I can't well, do it myself. You'll but, figure it out. You throw them in there. If they don't do anything, well, that's a learning curve. The temp here right now is 48, Doug. So, but yeah. it's. The wind is, we're having really high winds right now. We're in wind advisory, which is really not normal. I'm showing 44. Hopefully my plants don't freeze outside. We actually had uh, snow on Friday. We left um, here. It was snowing. We went to work. It wasn't snowing. Then it started work, snowing before I left work. But the thing is, the ground temperatures was higher than the air temperature which means it melted on contact. It doesn't matter how big the flakes were. They didn't stay. Flakes like this, that big. Yeah. Welcome to where I live. Snow touches the ground and doesn't even, it, sometimes the snow don't even make it to the ground. That's what basically was going around here. Ooh, went from 87 to 59. That's still He's having, a, he's having a, you know, you know what was it called? Um, wave. Flash freeze. He's going down. Almost, almost 20 degrees, 30 degrees, 20, 30 degrees. Yeah. That's a big drop. 28 degrees. I'm, I'm just guessing because I, I can't think that like that with numbers for some reason. But, um, yeah, well, I'll see if I try and uh, get Ian to plant a couple of those potatoes out there. We'll dig a hole and see what happens. Yeah, just dig up the soil and make it loose, kind of chop it up, kind of flip it over a few That's times. what I was asking you what I should do about prepping the ground first. We yeah, don't well, you got to do a stuff. little bit of prep work. You can't just dig a hole like you're burying a body and just stick the damn potato in there. <laughs> well, gotta, we don't have a tiller. To you got to loosen up the soil a little bit and then just kind of put it on there and make like a little hill and then put the... Okay, that's the part. I remember... Hit, okay, we'll do that. I mean, if we had... If I would have picked up those... Uh, uh, Planter boxes, I probably would have used those, but I literally didn't have the money, and it was gone before I could even get them. And they're hard to get a hold of because we can't touch them until we're off duty. It doesn't matter what it, when it comes in. So, Ian did pick himself up a new boots with his own money, so we're just good. Combat boots. How many pairs of combat boots does he need? Well, he just outgrew the last pair. 
Makes sense on that one, at least. <laughs> His feet are still growing, but the, this pair is a little odd. Well, okay, it's a lot odd because when they came in, they we didn't. No one realized that they were two sizes. One's a nine and a half wide. The other one's a ten wide. But given the fact that he's right-handed, his right and the foot that yeah, you know, and everything. If you're right-handed, your le right foot's generally going to be uh, wider than your left. Don't ask me why that is. It's just maybe in your family. I bet if you check your foot, one's bigger than the other. It might your be the same size. Dominant foot is usually wider. No, my feet are about the same size. Oh, got that itch again. <laughs> uh, Dan wants to know if he was much experienced bur burying bodies there. Hey. Wouldn't you like to find out? What do you think feeds my garden? No, well, that that we'll we'll just leave it at that. The um, the, it's the blood of your enemies, which are every old insect in the book. The blood of all my enemies. That's why my garden grows so well. Actually, I heard a really weird thing on tick joke on TikTok about a guy who went to, to heaven, and or he was supposed to go to heaven, and he ended up in hell. But he said, I, I went to uh, church regularly. I never did anything wrong. But they counted every death that he was responsible for. He was an exterminator. Uh. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. It <laughs> is hilarious, but sucks for him. <laughs> no, I just... Uh. We uh, yesterday just going to go get Ian. We saw about twelve deer uh, walking across the highway. Saw what? Twelve deer. It took, it took not all at once, but in several sections. Deer just happened to be strolling across the highway. Yeah, going back just because this one's hilarious. Going back to that one, Dan. My neighbors see me digging in the yard all the time, messing with my garden. I could dig an eight-foot hole, and they wouldn't even care. They wouldn't even question it. Now, if you put all a little my neighbors around me, all see my garden. They see me out there all the time. What if you start putting up headstones? Did that for Halloween? Nobody said anything. What did your headstone say? Rest in peace. That's it. Well, I mean, I made them out of plywood and some freaking. The four inch, five inch, the freaking mailbox stickers. Oh, I didn't know that. Would you yeah, do I the round ones or you do the square, the cross looking ones? No, I just standard tombstone. Okay, like the little with the round top. Yeah, old school like tombstone tombstones. Yeah, I made two of those back when I don't know about the second year I lived down was down here, so like 2010, 2011. One of my favorite sayings on one of those type of things that I saw in someone's yard, what do you want on your tombstone? And if you don't get it, sausage. it's pepperoni and sausage. <laughs> Famous last words are sayings from dead people. It was always good to. Uh, to. Probably, Dan, Probably. Yes, you I can. Mean, be but... <sighs> All right, folks, just to let you know, I got about a minute and 12 seconds, and then we are going to wind her down because I would like to eat some more. I, am, I don't know why I'm hungry, but I am like wicked hungry. You, wicked you hungry. weren't able to work in the garden today because of the wind, correct? I got like some things done outside, but yeah, no, I've got a lot of my soil dried out, and it was blowing all of my topsoil into my water, my bird water bath my solar water bath so you oh, have got to clean cool. that out well what of my bills got paid today and can you guess which one water internet came out uh, it took 169 dollars out of my account 
Yeah, Wait. you gotta get better internet, dude. That should not cost you almost two hundred dollars. Well, we got disconnected. We had to do a reconnect fee. You know how that goes. But um, but it's it's, it's we got reconnected. We're, we're I mean, that's good at least. Ian's really happy about it. Yeah, well, you can also it. help pay for the thing. Well, he's still in school. So he hasn't got a job yet. He's he's got feelers out, but most of the places that want him, he doesn't live at yet, or close to. Exactly. And I asked his mom how he's supposed to get to work if he doesn't have a car. He goes, he's got feet. So there's, so there's, there's, there's like this, um, secondary invention. It was uh, last time I checked. It was called a bicycle. Oh yeah. I heard about a guy who actually used one of those electric scooters to get to and from work. Yeah, but they're not cheap. Uh, they can be because they sell them at my workplace. They One came in. Yeah, it's probably already gone. Oh, yeah. Stuff like that doesn't stay long. We did pick right, up. Anyways, folks, okay, you're we out are here. at our time limit. We are past our time limit. I am not going to sit here and... Keep going, yeah. keep going, keep going, because I do want to get some stuff done here. Got to check on some things outside. Hopefully, it's not super windy. Yeah, it's true. Not your room? No, I. It's. I'm not going to be able to get all that. So I'm just going to have to figure something out tomorrow. It just might stay exactly like this. But anyways, I will catch everybody tomorrow. Colin, thanks for popping up. Jason, Molly, Jenny, uh, yeah. Doug, Herbert, Grace, Deb, Cecilia, Cindy. Blake, Sandy, uh, what that guy watched something or other that popped in here earlier drops. Thank you guys for on oh, Sarah. Thank you all for popping in tonight. I hope you have a great weekend, and we will see you on the next one. Be well, be safe, have fun.